Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we will show you how to install and set up a Microsoft Exchange server um, to kind of handle your mail stuff um, and just have do mail things. Um, I've started to get to a point where I'm like, oh well, having a mail server might actually be good for some of the Home Lab stuff to demo. Um, now, the, the one thing to note here, this mail server is only for my external Home Lab network. So um, for most cases, if you want to set up a mail server publicly, you probably can't set it up in your own home to be a public mail server, mainly because your internet service provider doesn't probably allow mail outgoing. Um, so that's one thing to note in case you're kind of thinking, hey, maybe I can set one up and then you know use that as an actual mail server in the real world. Kind of doesn't work that way with if you're doing it in a residential area with an ISP. So that is just your forewarning. But if you're just doing it for fun like I am, um, keep watching the video. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my kind of want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email is in the description below. So let's get started, guys. All right. So I got a Windows uh, 2012 <coughs> server. Yeah, 2012. Windows Server 2012 server um, is set up. Um, so we'll log into that here. And we'll just RDP into this. Um, so what we'll be doing here is installing Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 on a Windows 2022, not Windows 2012, uh, Windows 2022. Windows 2022, man, geez, too many twos um, on the server. So what we'll do first is we will need to actually um, make sure this is hooked up to AD. So if this isn't hooked up to AD, um, you this, this essentially won't work. Um, so we will need to go here, computer, system properties. Um, somewhere in here, there is a... Rename this PC, change work group, and we will change the domain to be uh, dragon.local. And then we will log in. Oh god. I don't know if I set up the users yet. Might have to log in as administrator. Okay, yeah, dragon.local domain. Okay. And it will essentially restart here. So we'll let that to restart. Um, that is totally fine. Um, we will also, while we wait for that to come back up, we'll log in here. We will log into our AD server. Um, and go to Active Directory stuff. So um, in here, we'll create a user, uh, domain users, users um, in here and users. We'll create a new user, we'll just call it dragon, dragon, next, type in password, type in a password, and password never expires. Oh, you, well, yeah, you can't have both, obviously. And finish. And then we'll assign it a few groups. So the, the two groups that you'll need for this to actually work is schema admins and enterprise admins. Um, if you don't have these two groups, it will actually error during the install. And then I'm just going to add domain admin so I can uh, install you know, software um, on here. So uh, we'll set that as a primary group for domain admins, apply, and we should be set with that. We will leave this page up though, um, that not my desktop up, so we can take a look at that. So next, we can go back to our connection. We can connect to our server. Hopefully it's done rebooting. If it's not done rebooting, it's going to... It's going to just take some time, no worries. Um, while we wait, we can go to our GitLab instance and actually update our GitLab, oh, our DNS, sorry, our DNS to point to uh, our, a new mail entry. So we'll do mail in a and it's 16.1.54. And we will commit that. Oh. Add a mail. You know it's tired when you just start typing random stuff and you're not even paying attention to what you're typing anymore. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Okay, give it a second. It's probably coming back up. That's weird.
All right, it's it's coming back up. It put up oh, like turned on a page that was like trying to be to a CD, and I have no idea why I would do that. Um, but it's okay. Don't don't. We're not even gonna sweat it. All right, uh, it is back up now. So now what we would actually do is log you. You have to be as a uh, domain user. Well, in this case. The user that we created with the schema admin, the enterprise admin, um, we need to log in as that user to be able to do the setup too. So we'll log in as Dragon, um, and Dragon local onto this computer. Boop, boop. All right. So now that we've logged in, um, we will go and download the file for exchange um, exchange server 2019 download um, so we will hit this go to co the cumulative download um, for exchange server 2019 and we will hit download um, so now i've actually already downloaded this but this is like a six gig download so i'm going to cancel that um, i've already downloaded this on this computer um, on the administrator user yeah access i have access um, so we're just going to run the install here. So you can actually mount this. Yep. Open and we have mounted it. So, so it's like mounting a CD essentially. And then we'll go through the setup. Um, there will be some prereqs in here for the, for the setup. So don't, don't, uh, don't worry too much. And it's going to probably just take a little bit. So we're going to do a lot of fast forwards guys. Um, but we we'll next, we'll check some more stuff. All right, that's good. So now it's going to copy some files. We'll fast forward when it's done copying. Okay, so now it's done copying the files. We're going to go to the introduction to get the deployment. So um, here's the introduction, hit next. Um, you can accept a license agreement and share diagnostics. You can accept and not share the diagnostics, or you can not accept the license and agreement and then it will just not even install. So it's up to you. I'm going to pick the middle one. Um, you can obviously scroll through, read the license and agreement, make sure you're not doing anything uh, stupid, essentially. Um, essentially, you know, sign your life away um, because you clearly read every single detail on this. Um, and then once you once you have, you hit next here. Um, you can not use recommended settings and configure everything manually. In this case, I'm going to just use recommended settings. Keep it simple. Um, and we're going to check the mailbox role and we'll check automatically install Windows Server role. Hit next. We'll leave the installation directory path by default. So hit next. Organization, we'll just call it Dragon. We got a cool organization, guys. Um, we want to disable mal malware scanning. Um, you can if you want to, but I mean, it's a security thing. It's easy. It's nice. Um, it kind of helps you keep malware malware oh my god i'm never gonna say that word correctly um from your inboxes and kind of makes it a little bit more secure so i'm gonna keep it on um and then it'll go through this readiness check readiness check um this will also take a few minutes so we'll fast forward the video um to when it's completed okay so now it went through the pre-ready next check um so in this case if you weren't logged in as the domain user that we created and that user doesn't have enterprise admin or and schema admin you need both it would error here saying that but because we do it didn't error but it does error on a few things that we will need to install because this is a completely fresh instance on this uh, on the server it doesn't have all the prereq stuff that it needs so what we'll, what we'll do here is oh i don't want to use edge <laughs> whatever it's fine um, what we'll do here is go download the needed stuff. So let's download that. Um, we're going to go download this. Uh, 64. And we're going to go and download this. So th these are all the other things that I just need for it to actually pre pre-rack before it can install. So um, it's actually pretty simple because it just gives you all the things that need to be installed, which is super nice. Um, so what we'll do is just go to the downloads. So we'll just run through, do the install. Um, these are really like quick and simple installs. So um, nothing like too fancy. Um, it should just be pretty much kind of next, next, next type installs. Um, so we'll let this go through. So next, accept, next, install. Boom, boom, boom. This could go slower. I am actually writing this on an SSD. I actually have a PCIe card with a uh, M2 slot that is plugged in on my server. And so everything actually runs pretty quick and it's actually kind of nice. 
Um, and then we'll run this, accept, install, yes. Um, and then once everything's done installed, we hit the retry here. Finish, and then install this. Boop, boop. And set up successful. So now we can hit retry. It will go through the prereq stuff again, um, but you should now see that it is good. Um, and all those things that I was airing about should be essentially good. So now we can see that we got two warnings. Um, these both totally fine. These warnings are just more like exchange AD type stuff. So don't sweat that out. Um, we should be good. Um, if, if this is a fresh install, you might want to actually like look at this if you're trying to do like an upgrade or something of that sort, but for like a completely fresh install, you're totally good with not needing to worry about this. So then you hit install. And then we will wait from step one to step 14 for it to install. So we will fast forward the video on this part two. Um, I think this took like 30 minutes the last time I did this. Um, so it's going to take a little bit. So be patient, but we will zoom back through the video um, when we get there. So, all right. So about like 30, 40, 40 minutes later, we finally get to setup completed. Congratulations, setup has finished successfully. Um, so you will have to reboot your computer for everything to finish. So what we'll do here is give it a quick reboot. Um, restart here. And we will let it go here. Um, and then we should be able to connect it back to it pretty quickly unless it was doing that weird thing that it was doing before. Um, which I don't think it should. But I will pull up. Nah, it's going to be fine. <laughs> um, so, give it a second here. Should come back up. Alright. 54. We'll log in. Yes. Alright, so now we're logging in. Give it a second. Prepare Windows. Man. It's so nice when you're when you're on like an M2. Things actually like load so quickly. Um, so nice. Okay, so um, no, 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 cancel, cancel. Um, <laughs> now we can go here, and there should be this new directory, and we will go to Exchange Administrative Center. Um, this will actually go to localhost um, on the computer and bring us to a web page that will log in for our Exchange Admin Center. Um, it looks like it's loading slowly. Give it a second. There we go. Um, and then we can log in. Dragon.local. Log in as Dragon user. And a sign in. Yeah, this... It loads quickly, but it's still... Everything is loading. <laughs> So give it a few seconds here, but while while we do this, we should also be able to go on our computer. We should be able to actually open up HTTPS mail dot dragon dot local, and this should actually bring us to like you what you would usually have as like an Outlook, you know, Microsoft Exchange email thing, and we can actually log in here dragon dot local dragon. And we can actually log in here and you can see like an Outlook in a box. Um, okay, so this is the Exchange Admin Center where you can set up all your users' mailboxes in this case. So like by default, because we we set everything up as a Dragon user, the Dragon user uh, is in here and, and created a mailbox. And you can see that when we logged in over here, um, we can select time zone, we're in US, Canada, Central, we can save. And we now have our Outlook mailbox that is on our Exchange server. So we can do mail routing internally with our dragon.local domain um, now. Um, so if I were to, like, say, for example, create a new user, we can create a new user real quick just to show you. Uh, dragon2, dragon2, boop. And password doesn't expire. So now we have a, that new user in Active Directory. We can go to our admin control center. We can go here, user mailbox. We can browse for an existing user, um, or we can create we can create a new user too. Um, but it, it it's easy if I just create an AD real quick, and I can select the user, 
and hit save. So now we now Dragon Two has a inbox also. Um, if I would just create the user in AD, it wouldn't have an inbox. I have to actually create the mailbox here um, for it to actually show up. So what I can show you here is now if I were to you know create a mail, go to Dragon Two at Dragon Local. Woo! This is a test email. I can send that over to Dragon Two, um, and then let's sign out and log in as Dragon Two. And it should actually show us, no, nope, not Pacific, Central. It should actually show us now the email that I sent over when it loads. Give it a second, it's loading. It pop, this is the one. There it goes. And now you can see that Dragon sent to Dragon 2 this test email with the subject name Woo. So there you go. That's how you set up your base exchange um, mail server um, to kind of do your fun exchange stuff locally in your home lab. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.